Oh, good morning. Good well. Uh, I've actually been up for a while. I just got back from a run and had a shower, so been up for a it kind of ruins the effect now. I just said that, so um <sighs> Good morning everyone. Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to the day vlog. It is Tuesday, it is day seven. Uh yesterday uh, was my sister's birthday, so for those reasons I didn't film. Right, right, so good morning, good morning. It's another wonderful day in the house. Today I have quite a bit I want to do. I have stuff I need to do. Also, my room's a mess. Uh, I, honestly, I need to, that's on my, I need to put that down on my list. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I learned a lot from the first week and um, I need to, uh, I just bit my tongue. Just got, the, the, the door just rang. And let me see what, it, what, it wasn't my part. I am expecting a parcel today. Um, I got some soap in my eyes and I'm now seeing different dimensions. Oh, shout out. Right, so basically, Today, um, the shout out goes to uh, the one and only Craig Baker, the first shout out of the daily vlogs. Craig is a good friend of mine. Uh, he has a really good channel called Craig Baker Photography. I actually made a documentary about Craig and his project of uh, Lunch Hour London. Uh, but no, uh, Craig has a good channel. I put the link down uh, in the bio if you want like high quality, uh, interesting content. He does podcasts, he does on the street kind of vox pop interviews. So, and uh, he has balls of steel. We can talk to, you know, basically anyone. I don't know how he does it. But um, yeah, that's my shout for the day. But my, as you can see, my hair is starting to go crazy. I've decided I'm not gonna cut it during this period and see where it goes. because. I kind of miss having long hair a bit, uh, but John, John the fisherman, nothing much has happened. Send this, but I sent a picture of the squid, and I said um, I have new squid in. Joe messaged back saying, "Does it come with the pen?" Alex Robinson from Natural Selection uh, has popped back with, uh, "I want lobster." So um, yeah, a little weekend recap. I didn't really do much, uh, <laughs> but I've been practicing the ukulele. No, I can do it. I've done it good once. No. But yes, today I'm doing something very, very, very special. I am actually starting a screenplay. I'm knuckling down and I'm going to finish a screenplay uh, within 48 hours. Also, I'm having this really weird eyebrow twitch at the moment. That gives me till, till the 9th of April and it's the 7th today. So today it starts with ideas as well as sketches and then storyline. I actually got influenced by this by a channel called... Uh, Tyler Murray, I'll try and put his link down in the bio. Uh, really inspiring, great video. Um, so I'm gonna try and be doing the same. The script that I'm writing today is specifically so I can make it during this period. So that's what's so exciting about it. I should probably get idea making. I have an idea. So some of you know, I have these story cubes. Right. Ah, oh, no. Right, they're all gone everywhere. There we go. So we have a lock, an eye, book, parachute, that's a good one, sad face, speech, shadow, alien, and flashlight. Let's uh, see what I can do. So I've structured my cubes into different points. It starts off with a guy, okay? This guy is on a special mission to an island. Uh, the island is in the Pacific. He's worried about this mission. Actually, everything on the island is locked. He's looking for a book inside the house that uh, has state secrets in it, and uh, he sees the shadow walking around, it turns out there's something else on the island. This island's a bit like, uh, imagine abandoned Area 51. It turns out the alien could talk, so the alien helps it eventually. He manages to get off the island, uh, but without the state secrets, he decides to destroy them because um, it's against the rights of the alien. That was fun. I just feel like I don't think it's possible. <laughs> Still, it's a fun idea. I have got a good idea that I will tell you now if I can figure out to put this back in the box. There's a bunch of factors you have to take into play, so I was trying to think about you know, what, how it would work as a film and how, you know, different stuff will come together and how I want the end result to look and what the message I want to convey. You have to see, it's quite a long process, but I think I have a very, very good idea. What's a good name for, like, a lead character? Johnny. And do you know why it's called Johnny? After the room. Obviously, I think writing for the time you're in is a very good way of, you know, speaking to an audience because, you know, everyone would have collectively been through it and then also you can write from it from experience and it's true you know it's quite hard to write about war if you haven't studied it or you weren't in war i want to do something about the apocalypse but i want to give it a new twist i want to give it a comedy twist and if it's a one person film it's gonna to have to be me because it's inside the house and I've basically my aim is to mess with people's heads kind of I find that fun. For starters, it's called Welcome to the Apocalypse, but I think it's a cracking title. It's one of my best. But I think the idea is not too shabby. It's going to start with our character, Johnny. He's going to walk into a house, in this case, this house, because he can't leave. Well, he's going to come through the door. He's basically walking through this house. He is looking around, trying to ransack the place, basically, just trying to find stuff to take. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Right, I'm going to write that down. Right, I'm not sure if this is going to show on camera, but this is this is the initial sketch I had for Johnny. I'm going to sneeze. I'm actually going to sneeze. <laughs> it's currently lunchtime. I've been filling out my story a bit more. 
I've done a few sketches, so I have an extremely rough storyboard. You know, it's been pretty productive. Uh, remember, I still have uh, a day, a day and a half, really. Um, so, but no, I'm worried that if I rush it, it won't turn out that good. Finally here, I got him. Here we go. Ah, oh, read a bit more of the trial. It's very good. I've been very busy today, but uh, this is a nice little, nice little break. So I ordered this a long time ago. Here they are. These are unreal. Oh, wow. Look at them. I'm going to go so fast in these. I did get a size 8, and I'm usually a size 8, so they should fit. They got very nice. Very happy with this purchase. Alright, so I think that's probably going to do it for tonight. Have a nice evening, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, lads. <laughs>